Thank you. And as we begin, we have our mystical cabbage fairies are sprinkling fairy dust on the cabbages for good luck. I'd like to give a special welcome to the junior cabbage growers who will be competing for prizes in the Max Sherrod Junior Cabbage Growers Contest, sponsored by the Matsu chapter of the Alaska Farm Bureau. The Giant Cabbage Contest is one of the great long-standing traditions of the Alaska State Fair. My name is Brian Mead, and I will be your host today, and I'm joined here by KTVA Channel 11's own Carlos Fora, who will be providing commentary on our online live stream on ktva.com on GCI Channel 1, and I think we have a link at the State Fair's website too. We do, and the reason why, everybody, we want to welcome you here. This is a world record event. We've got a couple of world records over the past, what, few decades? Oh, we have had the last two world records in cabbages alone, um, not to mention all the other vegetables we've had. Um, we've had uh, six other world records just this year at the Alaska State Fair. We've had tomatoes, cucumbers, everybody I think knows about the pumpkin at 1,469 pounds. We have a long gourd, and if you haven't seen that over by the pumpkin, that's amazing. An African bushel gourd and a yellow straight neck squash, not to be confused with a yellow coward or a yellow redneck coward, yeah. But the vegetable of the hour is a cabbage. How many of you have been here for previous way-offs? Yeah, I understand. It is a premier event. This is one of the events that they hear about down in the lower 48 over in Australia, in Tokyo. And it's all over YouTube. And it's, the excitement is so thick you can cut it. I know that we get a lot of viewers online from people overseas. It's a really big deal and um, yeah. you know, a lot of the northern country stuff. Do we have anybody here from out of the country? Anybody? I got a couple of hands over here. Yeah, yeah, excellent. And how about out of the state? Who here is visiting from out of the state? We got quite a few people here. We'd like to welcome you to Alaska. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, so. To begin, tonight there are 18 cabbages competing for over $4,000 in prizes. The question is, will there be another 100 pound plus cabbage tonight? Now out of those 18 cabbages, six of them are in the Max Sherrod Junior Cabbage Contest, and that is for uh, contestants 12 and under. Um, oh. And this just in. Scott Robb, who is the current um, world record holder here at the Alaska State Fair, will be our entry official. He's standing over here. Scott Robb, wave. Thank you. Scott Robb is not entering this year. He's taking a sabbatical from cabbages as he builds a house, I believe. All right. So, Scott Robb, who set the new Guinness World Record with a whopper of a cabbage weighing 138 pounds. 0.25 pounds, beating Steve Hubachek's record here, who also, uh, I believe, has a cabbage over here waiting to be weighed. So in this, uh, before we get started, I'd like to give you a friendly reminder that Alaskan vegetables are by far the freshest vegetables you're going to find around here. And you should remember to eat five servings of fruits and vegetables a day. So will this summer be a good summer for cabbages? Cabbages are historically a cold weather uh, crop, and we had an awfully hot summer here, th here in Alaska. So we're going to find out. Let's see. Uh, first, we've got some people to thank before we get going. I'd like to recognize the Alaska State Fair as our main sponsor of the Giant Cabbage Way Off. And I'd also like to recognize that the Matsu chapter of the Alaska Farm Bur Bureau has signed on as the sponsor of the Max Sherrod Junior Cabbage Contest uh, for kids 12 and under. The Matsu chapter of the Alaska Farm Bureau is proud to support the next generation of Alaska cabbage growers. And let's meet some of our officials real quickly. Uh, first and foremost, from the State of Alaska Division of Weights and Measures is Gidget Romine, who is returning for her fifth year, and she will be our waymaster for tonight's way off. I'd also like to give a big welcome or thank you to David and Kathy Wartenby. Uh, David is our official recorder, and Kathy, uh, or our official statistician, and Kathy is our official recorder. And they come all the way up 
from Soldatna to help us out every year. And they have been doing this for, well, years. I think it's been over 20 years. Uh, their assistants, we have Teresa Campamore and Julie Starr. They're back here. You see them waving. And I'd also like to say a big thanks to our contest eligibility officials, Bruce Bunch and Frank Pratt, who looks over each cabbage to ensure that it's in sound condition and meets the requirements for this competition. And also I'd like to give a great big salute to our cabbage wranglers, the Boy Scout Troop 367, the Green Mountain Boys, who are getting a good workout tonight hauling these cabbages around. And I just want to say, give a big shout out for the Boy Scout program. Um, these Boy Scouts are amazing. They do amazing things for the, our community and the growth that the Boy Scout program gives, offers our boys is incredible. Did you know that out of the 316 astronauts that have, NASA has sent in the space, over 207 of them have been Boy Scouts? I know some people are looking at me. I didn't know you were going to talk about Boy Scouts. <laughs> I think, I, think, uh, over, I think 39 of those Boy Scouts were Eagle Scouts, too. So become an eagle, go to space. And of course, last but not least, I have Kathy Liska, who is our Cabbage Way Off Coordinator. And I may have misspoke because last but also not least, our, our wonderful Cabbage Fairies here to adorn the stage. All right, so now we are ready to get started the weighing. As cabbages arrived today, they were sorted into the juniors and the open class divisions, and the open class into large, extra large, and triple extra large. We're first going to start out entries in the Max Sherrod Junior Cabbage Growers Competition. This competition for kids 12 and under um, does have its own prizes. However, do we do have a special rule that if there is a, uh, a junior cabbage that might be up for first, second, or third prize in the open class, they could be moved up into that class. It's happened before with Keevan Dinkle, um, that was what, two years ago, when he moved up from the junior class and won this giant cabbage contest. So we'll see what happens. We're not gonna do any awards until the very end, until we know where we need to be. All right, so moving along, we can see the Gidget here is going to zero out her scale. She's putting on um, a few items on the scale, which will probably, well, which will be with the cabbage, um, such as the tarp, so that we're not including the weight of the tarp with the actual weight of the cabbage. All of these tarps have been cut to be the same weight. And then she may occasionally put some other items on there to zero things out to where it needs to be. Are we ready for our first cabbage? All right. And our first contestant, come on up. All right, we have Jenna Abbott, and her cabbage's name is, why don't you give me their name? Big Ugly Two. What happened to Big Ugly One? Uh, it won first place last year. First place last year. Are you hoping for another first place this year? Yeah. You're feeling confident? Yeah. All right, so it looks like you had um, a few calamities. What, what, what challenges did you have this year in raising your cabbage? The windstorm. What did that do to your cabbage? Some of the leaves got ripped. Ooh, and how does that really hurt the cabbage? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, <laughs> you might lose a little bit of water weight with the ripped leaves. And, of course, every leaf counts. All right, so uh, what cabbage growing tips do you have that you could share with our audience? miracle Grow. So you use a little miracle Grow. Well, I think... Um, there's probably a few other things that you might be doing with it that you're keeping secret, isn't there? No. No? <laughs> All right. Lots of water, lots of sunshine, and lots of weight, uh, uh, lots of sun. All right. We will see what you've got in just a moment. So how many years have you been growing cabbages? Two. 
And are you going to grow uh, a big, ugly three? Maybe. Maybe. How much time did you put into growing this cabbage? A lot. Yeah. It, it takes, you take it for walks every day? Do you sing to it and things? No. no. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll soon see your official weight as they get ready to bring the next one up. Here it comes. Fifty-one point seven pounds. Now that is a lunker. All right. Good job, Jenna. And may your cabbage be the heaviest. All right. We got Avery Luff. Come on up here, Avery. How are you doing today, Avery? Good. Have you ever grown a cabbage for the state fair before? No. This is your first time then. Have you been growing cabbages just on your own? No. No? Well, so what made you grow a cabbage this year? My mom. So she said, Avery, you're going to grow a cabbage or you're going to be in big trouble. Yeah. Yeah, basically that's it. <laughs> All right. So what's the name of your cabbage? King Cabbage. And where do you come up with a name like King Cabbage? I don't know. It just sounded good. Let's see what you have here. So... Did you have any challenges, any special challenges growing this cabbage this year? No. No. It just, you just planted the seed and it grew just like that? Yeah. Now you got to tell me, are you in love with growing cabbages now? I don't know. You don't know? What do your friends think about you growing a cabbage? They don't know that I have a cabbage. So this is kind of your little closet secret thing that you, you grow cabbages, don't let the friends know. What, would you, what do you think they would think if they found out? That's a lot of work. I think they might be right. Okay. So um, what kind of tips would you have for growing a cabbage? Water and fertilize the cabbage a lot. All right. So we're going to see what the weight is. We have a 35.5. That is an excellent first-year cabbage. Avery, thank you very much. All right. And we hope to see you again next year with an even bigger cabbage. So growing cabbages is an art and a skill, and it does take a lot of time, patience, and sometimes a little secrets here and there. Oh, Fern, come on up here. Fern, I was looking at your cabbage earlier, and I would have to say that is one of the prettiest cabbages I have ever seen. How did you get it to look so pretty? I don't know. Just a little bit of fern magic, right? So. Uh, tell me the name of your cabbage. Cabby. Cabby the cabbage. Have you ever grown a cabbage before? No. What made you want to grow a cabbage this year? I don't know. Now, I heard, Fern, that you had a brother try to grow a cabbage. And uh, is this an older brother or a younger brother? Older. An older brother. And how does your cabbage compare to your older brother's cabbage? Bigger. Your cabbage is bigger, so you beat him. That is awesome. So, what did you do to keep the moose from eating your cabbage? We have a fence around the garden. You, how big is that fence? Eight feet. An eight-foot fence, and I think that's what you need to keep the cabbage or the moose from eating the cabbages, huh? So, what do you think? How much do you think this cabbage weighs? I don't know. Do you think it weighs more than you or less than you? Less. Can you pick it up yourself? Yes. Yeah? Well, we're going to find out what it weighs right here. 4.0 pounds. Fern, that is an excellent weight for that first cabbage this year, and I hope you're going to come back next year, right, with a six-pounder? Maybe more? Maybe more. How big would you like to grow a cabbage? 30. 100? 30. Oh, well, 30. That's a great next goal, 30 pounds. And if you keep working on it, I bet you can get to that 100 mark too. Fern, thank you very much. I love your cabbage. So Fern outgrew her big brother. She is amazing. All right.
right, our next contestant in the junior division is Joe Van Dice. I like the name of your cabbage. Could you tell us the name of your cabbage for the audience? Be happy. That is a very fitting name. Did you have a lot of bees around your cabbage this year? No. No? So where did you come up with the name Be Happy? Because it's the theme of the fair. It's the theme of the fair, so it fits right in. Right on. So what were, what were some of the uh, uh, challenges you had growing cabbages? Mm -hmm. Did you grow more than one cabbage this year? Yep. How many cabbages did you grow? Four. Four cabbages. Was this the biggest one? No. Well, wait a minute. What happened to the biggest one? It split. Oh, boy, I hate it when that happens. You know, it happens to even Scott Robb. Every now and then, he'll have a cabbage split, I bet. So this was the second biggest one? Yep. Yep. All right. So what do you think it's going to be? I think we're about to find out. Twenty nine point seven. That is huge. That is huge, Joe. You did great. Put her there. Twenty nine point seven for be happy the cabbage. I love it. You did a great job, and we'll see how that turns out. What? What? They lost. That's... All right, our next contestant. We have Daisy Christensen, and Daisy, is this your little brother? What's his name? Will. Did he help you grow your cabbage? Yes. And what, what did he do to help grow the cabbage? Water it. You made him do all the hard work, huh? Yeah. <laughs> all right. So did you have any challenges growing your cabbage this year? No. No, it was easy, huh? You just put it in the ground and it grew? <laughs> yeah. Right. So what kind of growing tips would you give our audience here for growing a cabbage? Water and uh, fertilizer. Water and fertilizer. Okay, good. How often do you have to water a cabbage to make it big like that? Once a day. It's how much? Once a day. Once a day. Yeah, that's quite a chore to water it. But, of course, you made your brother do it. So what is the name of your cabbage? Lily. Lily. Lily, that looks like a pretty big cabbage. And we're going to find out how much it weighs right now. Holy cow, 59.4. I bet you that weighs more than your brother. All right, so it looks like Lily is in the lead with 59.4. And our next contestant, we have a couple of brothers. We have Stuart and Nick McQuillan, right? And what is the name of your cabbage? Cabacus Maximus. And cabbage, Cabacus Maximus. I love the name Cabacus Maximus. Now, um, before I ask a little bit more, which one of you is Stuart and which one is Nick? I'm Stuart. I'm Nick. All right. Stuart and Nick. Now, I noticed you, you made a little poster here. Can we see this poster? All right. And you can see the Cabbage Fairies loved your poster. You've got an award for that. Cabacus Maximus. And you, you have directions on how to uh, grow the cabbage. Could you, could you talk me through this? Uh, plant seed. And then, uh... So that's step one. Step two. Water and fertilize. Okay. Step three. Add natural ingredients, special stuff. Okay, so you wrote special stuff. Is, is this special stuff a secret, or can you tell me what your special stuff is? It, it's a secret. Oh, all the big cabbage growers don't let their secrets out. And what's step four? Bring it to the fair. And, and I bet you there is a step five. What is step five? Win. Win. All right. Well, we'll see if that comes true. I love your poster, and we're going to get a wait here in just a moment. So why don't you tell me, did you have any problems growing this cabbage? Slugs. Slugs. What do you do about slugs when you have slugs? You flick them off and kill them. So whose job was it to flick off slugs? Both of us. We check it every morning. We check it every morning and flick them off and kill them. 
Okay, so who likes flicking slugs more? Not me. <laughs> Not you. I wouldn't like flicking slugs either. All right. So your cabbage is 57.7 pounds. All right, boys. It looks like you are in the lead now for the junior division. Good job. What's that? Daisy's got the top. Okay, okay. All right, and, and uh, that was my mistake, boys, but Daisy, I think, just inched above you, Daisy, with what do you have? You have 50, 59.4 pounds for Daisy there in the junior division. And that is the end of the junior division right now. We're going to move into the open division. Now, if, if, if Daisy's or uh, anybody else's cabbage is, are in the top three weight of the other pumpkins, then it is possible that they could be moved up into the open division. We'll see what happens. So at this point, they're going to uh, recalibrate the scale. We do this often to make sure it's fair and clean. And as they get ready, let me tell you a little bit about Max Sherrod, who the um, Max Sherrod Junior Cabbage Division is named after. He was a pioneer giant cabbage grower here in Alaska. Way back in 1941, Max won the first award for growing the largest cabbage here at the fair that year. It was a huge 23-pounder. So I think if Max Sherrod were here, he would have been beat by a few of these kids here, but of course, that might seem puny now by today's standards. He didn't give up. He kept working on it and working on it. His perseverance and dedication um, to his hortic horticultural nurturing um, continued to develop, growing even larger captions cabbages. So the Matsu chapter of the Alaska Farm Bureau is proud to honor the memory of Max Sherrod by sponsoring the Junior Cabbage Growers Contest to help keep great Alaskan traditions growing and going into this country. So if we add up all of the cabbage weights together, just the juniors, we've got 238 pounds all together. That's a lot of coleslaw. All right, Noel. So we have Noel... Gwinnett, is that correct? Hmm? Noelle's my wife. Oh, Noelle's your wife. So you are Hank, very good. That would make sense. Uh, <laughs> welcome to the stage. And you have been growing cabbages here and entering, or, or Noelle has, for how long? Three years. Three years. How's she been doing in these three years? Uh, not as good as we'd hope, but we're doing okay. Are they getting better, bigger every year? Uh, no, smaller. <laughs> We need tips. We need tips. Okay, okay. Well, you got to start somewhere. So um, what, what, what do you think was the biggest challenge this year in growing cabbages? Uh, several of them died. Cut worms. Some of them just turned yellow and died. Okay. It was an awfully hot year. Do you think the weather had something to do with it? I'm not sure. I think, I think well, cut worm, no. Yeah, well, you know, Al Gore, long time ago, promised us this global warming. He's finally delivering on his campaign promise, but it, it's taking its toll out, I think, on the cabbages. I mean, wouldn't you think so? It's been hot about the last three years. Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, so where do you think we're going to be on this cabbage, uh, weight-wise? Oh, so we've already got it. <laughs> so 16.95 pounds. Is that, is that a little bigger or smaller than last year? Quite a bit smaller. Okay. Well, we win some and we lose some, but I'm glad that you were here and keep persisting. Next year, we expect to see a huge world record. A, at least a 20-pounder. That's right. All right. Thank you, Hank, very much. All right. Our next contestant in the open division, Walter Chastain. And what do we have now? It looks like you grew quite a number of cabbages, but had a few issues with this. Can you tell me about that? 
Uh, most of them split. I had three larger ones split about two or three weeks ago. So what causes the split? Any, any ideas? The rain. We had a couple of three weeks ago split them. Yeah. Is there any way to protect the cabbages from the rain, do you think? Uh, there will be next year. <laughs> yeah, that's how we learn, I guess. So what, what kind of tips would you have for our audience here on growing cabbages? A lot of luck, uh, good soil, good fertilizer, and good seeds, and most of all, luck. All right. Well, let's see what you got. And his cabbage name, by the way, is number four, and he came in at 51.55 pounds. Not too bad. Yes, thank you. All right, so you'll see that they sweep the uh, scale often to make sure that there's no bits of the sawdust on there that might e uh, edge somebody over uh, winning somebody else. We want it to be as fair as possible. All right, and our next contestant here, Eva Cohen-Brown. How are you doing today, Eva? Good, how are you? I'm doing great. So how long have you been uh, growing cabbages for the Alaska State Fair? Said what? How long, how long have you been growing cabbages? Three years. Three years, and you've been entering every year. What was the big challenge this year? Slugs, slugs, and then more slugs. Yes. Did you know that these boys here, they work for a dollar a slug. They will flick them. Well, the boys love to... Uh... These boys here love to flick slugs. Off of, their, off of the cabbages. So they're a dollar a slug. Is that right? A dollar a slug? Yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I'd do it for a dollar a slug. <laughs> All right. So um, what, what, what is your biggest piece of advice you can offer for growing cabbages? I'm sorry? Advice. I, I didn't hear what your you said. Your biggest advice for growing cabbages. Oh, uh, a lot of patience and a box of tissues for all the tears that you're going to shed when the slugs eat your cabbage. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, at least the slugs got a good meal out of them. All right. So um, do you plan on continue growing? Are you going to continue growing? Probably so. Yeah. How, many cabbages do you, how many cabbages do you grow when you, when you grow cabbage? Uh, this year we uh, grew three. Okay. Well, they, I imagine, take a lot of space. And this year you grew a 27.45 cabbage. And the name of your cabbage was Slug Feast. Appropriately named, I guess. All right, we're getting ready for the next one. All right, and if I can remind anybody up by the fence that if you're standing by the fence, maybe if you would sit down so people behind you could see, they would appreciate it. Great. And I know the, the scouts will be moving there soon. Dale Marshall. How are you doing, Dale? How are you doing? Good. Oh, yeah. And we know about Dale Marshall. Now, Dale Marshall brought in... Dale Marshall's got a couple of world records here. Can you tell us about what you've got? State records. A couple of state records. <laughs> All right. I like the way you think. <laughs> it's not wishful thinking. It's, 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 it's projecting. It's, it's what's going to happen in the future. So tell us about your, um, your, your giant pumpkin. What did that come in at? Uh, that came in at 1469. Have you ever had anything close to that before? Oh, yeah. That's about 250 under my personal best. 250 under your biggest one? What happened to that other one that was bigger? It had a hole in it and got disqualified. Okay, so how does, a, how does a hole get into the pumpkin? Um, that was uh, just a stress crack, actually, you know, so. Okay, so that happens. And, of course, if, um, if, a, if there's a hole in the pumpkin and it goes beyond the, the, the full core of the skin, then it's unfortunately disqualified. Dale Marshall's pumpkin or Dale Marshall's um, cabbage, not quite as big as the pumpkin, but it is a whopping 43.35 pounds. Now, can you tell me, what's the difference here between growing a pumpkin and growing a cabbage? Why are pumpkins doing so well this year, but cabbage is not? Boy, I don't know about that. Um, pumpkins did well because they like the heat. Maybe the cabbages just don't like the heat as much, probably, you know. 
But uh, cabbage is a lot easier to grow. <laughs> okay. okay. Thank you, Dale. And everything I hear, although not being a horticulturist myself, but everything I hear is that a cabbage is such a, a, a cool weather crop. And um, some of these other state records we're getting do really well in warm weather. So one way or another, we can grow them big here in Alaska. All right, our next contestant, James Tapley. How are you doing, James? Good. Welcome to the stage. And your pumpkin's name is Alice. Where does Alice come from? A uh, dog. Likes, likes plants. Okay, so you named it after the dog. Great. My, my first name is James, and my dad had a dog named James. So I don't know if I was named after the dog or the dog's named after me. But So, all right, so uh, you've been growing cabbages for quite some time. How long have you been doing cabbages? Well, I've been growing them off and on pretty much since I was a teenager. This is the second year I've entered the cabbage contest. Okay, so we won't ask you exactly how many years it's been since you were a teenager. Um, what... What kind, of, what kind of problems did you have growing these cabbage challenges? Well, I actually had Alice Sr., but she's happened to die the last week of age. So she made it right up to a week beforehand. That's too bad. I kind of rolled her over, and she didn't look very good, so I got uh, Alice. Okay. So um, was Alice Sr. quite a bit larger then? Oh, yeah. It was better than last year. Okay, what did you have last year? Do you remember the weight? I think it was almost 55 pounds. Any, any ideas what you think it might be this year? No. <laughs> uh, more or less? Oh, a lot less. Oh. Okay, okay. So we will have a number in just a moment. So what kind of cabbage growing tips could you offer our audience here? Grow lots of extra cabbages. How many cabbages do you typically plant and grow? About three or four. And that's all it takes. Yeah. Interesting. Um, most people will grow only three or four cabbages when they do these big ones. And it's a whopping 18.05 pounds for Alice. <laughs> James, thank you very much. All right. So the Green Mountain Boys, Troop 367, has been doing the cabbage um, they've been cabbage wrangling here for I don't know how many years, but as many years as I can remember. And it's really a lot of fun to see these boys when they come in small and they grow and they grow and you see them have more ranks on their uniforms. And uh, uh, I don't know how many of them are becoming eagles, but I know that Troop 367 is a very active troop and produces a lot of eagle scouts. Anna Van Dyce, come on up. All right, Anna, it looks like you've been growing cabbages for a long time. Yeah, 10 years. And how old are you? I'm 16. So you started growing cabbage at six years old. How, how many times have you entered at the Alaska State Fair? The 10 years. All 10 years. And, and how has it been going? Are they getting bigger every year? Oh, well, it fluctuates. You know, some years are big and some years are not. It just depends on the year and the weather and stuff. So. Okay, how does this one compare to the uh, previous nine years? Um, probably not the biggest and not the smallest. <laughs> okay, well, that's good news. That's good news. And it looks like you, you didn't have any problems. You must have this. I mean, you've got some experience here. You must have this down pretty well. What, what friendly tip would you give our audience? Well, you have to have good protection from the moose or it will disappear. <laughs> All right. I have that problem with my peas as well. They love those peas. All right, let's see what you've got. And her cabbage name, by the way, is 2016. So we have 25.15 pounds. Very good. How did that compare from last year? Um, I think last year was 30-something, so it's a little smaller, but not much. Okay, and you attribute that to the weather, you think? It could be. I don't know. <laughs> you never do know. And can I ask you one more thing? Was this your brother that was in the junior division? It is, and I think he beat me. Oh, boy, you watch out because he's going to be an up-and-comer. Let's see, what did he have? 29.7, and you got 25.5 feet. Hey, congratulations, Joe. <laughs> Thank you, Anna. All right, as we recalibrate our scale, Green Mountain Boys are ready with the next cabbage. All right, come on up, Tiffany Sundlove. Tim. Tim. Yeah. All right, Tim. And you, your cabbage name is Rusty. And let's see. So you've been doing this for how long? It's my second year. Second year at the fair. Have you been growing cabbage just longer than that? Yes. Do you grow a lot of different vegetables then? Yes. Yeah. What, what other kind of bumper crops do you typically have? Potatoes, kale, spinach, 
lettuce, all the cold crops. Okay, so are you doing these for family or are you doing these for sale? For the winter. Okay, <laughs> now you're going to have a lot, of, a lot of work canning them and getting them ready. So it looks like you had a few calamities here. Um, can you tell us about what happened? Yeah, uh, they always say your garden is a reflection of your life. And uh, I was gone a lot for work, so I relied on technology. And I came home, and my uh, water timers had stayed on the entire time I was gone, and my potatoes were floating in the garden. <laughs> Ooh, well, <laughs> so you get a little overwatered there. And ironically, today is Technology Day here at the Alaska State Fair. <laughs> so you have a whopping 34.05 pounds for uh, Rusty the Cabbage, yeah, yeah. Tim, thank you very much. And I hope you do better with your technology next year. <laughs> And uh, Tim says, don't rely on technology um, uh, in your garden. Uh, technology is an amazing thing. But even that has to be watched and cared for. All right, so this is a uh, cabbage by the entire Meyer family. Is that correct? Yep. Yeah, and which Meyer are you? Uh, I'm Chad. All right, so how many people are involved in growing this cabbage? Well, there's my mom, uh, Ann, and my dad, Phil, and I think they did most of the work this year. And what, what, what did you do for it? What did I do? I uh, had many words of encouragement. That always helps. And you're here to represent the family, and that's a big thing as well. So what is your, um, what is your cabbage's name? Uh, this cabbage is called Our Summer Surprise because the soil at my parents' new house is somewhat questionable. Uh, it's a little better than last year, but uh, it's not as good for growing cabbages as what we had before. Well, it doesn't look like it did too bad, because that is a 38.5-pound cabbage. All right, good job, and thank you. Uh, that was my guess exactly, actually. I guess 38, pretty good. Well... You, you should, do you have a little pool going on at home? Uh, no, no, I should have. Yeah, well, next year you can start that pool. Are you going to be back next year with another cabbage? I don't know, actually. I'm going to be moving away uh, to Seattle, which is, you know, I've been doing this my whole life, so it'd be weird uh, not to. So maybe. Well, I can see it happening in a backyard in Seattle. I mean, if you think about Anchorage, we do have contestants from Anchorage. And if you drive around Anchorage, you might drive by a house with a reindeer in the background, in the, in the backyard. And then you drive by a house with some giant cabbages in the backyard. And, of course, there's always the occasional moose running up the road. All right. Thank you very much. And we hope to see you again with a Seattle cabbage next year. All right, and our next contestant is Carol Kenley. How are you doing, Carol? I'm fabulous. All right, and how long have you been growing these cabbages? I think this is my seventh year in the giant cabbage contest. Wow, and how have you been doing in, uh, uh, as far as your, the size of your cabbages? Well, actually, they've been mostly getting bigger. Okay, so we're on a constant upswing. That's good. I want my retirement count to look like that, as well as my cabbages. So what kind of uh, challenges did you have this year? Well, the first seedlings I planted, I had some defective promix, and it killed all the seedlings. So, so I had to go to Scott Robb and buy a cabbage start. Ah, uh, so we have uh, a Scott Robb cabbage here. But, you know, it's not just, you know, where you get the cabbage. It takes three big ingredients. It takes, it takes a lot of water. It takes a lot of sunshine, and I know it takes a lot of sun, or a lot of love. What, yeah. what do you give it the most? Love. Love. I love my cabbage. Okay, this has to be bigger than my granddaughter's here. 59.75. <laughs> all right, so we're all winners here at the Alaska Cabbage Contest here. All right, here we are, a former giant cabbage uh, contest winner. Keevan, welcome back to the stage here. And your cabbage name, Cole. So Keevan's cabbage name, Cole. Um, Keevan, welcome back. How long have you been doing this now? Six years. Six years. And how many years ago did you win this very contest? 
3. And how big was that cabbage? 92.3. 92.3. How big do you think this is going to be? Around 70 pounds. So not quite what you had back then. Um, so what kind of problems did you have with your cabbage growing this year? Lots of slugs. So you had a lot of slugs. Same problem other people had. Is, is that typical to have problems with slugs? Pretty. Yeah. Did you know that these boys will flick your slugs off for a dollar a slug? No. No? Well, if you saved any of the money that you made from the previous win, you could pay them a dollar a slug and they'll do that for you. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put it on the scale right now. So what do you think was, I mean, it's not the biggest year, obviously, um, judging by the cabbages. We're all in the same boat. Um, what do you think it is that's, that's um, we're having our biggest, everybody across the board is having a problem with their cabbages? Too much heat. Too much heat. So cabbage is a cold weather kind of vegetable? Yeah. yeah. So what can you do about, if, let's say next year we had another really hot summer. What would you do differently to try to combat that heat? I might give it more shade. Okay. So maybe would you erect something around it that would give them shade? I'd plant it behind trees. Okay. Nice natural shade. Have you ever thought about buying one of those big air conditioners and plugging it in and pointing it at your cabbage? No. You don't think that would work? No. There's been a few days this year I wish I had a big air conditioner pointing towards me. All right. So we're going to see what you got. Sixty-three point one five, and even though it was smaller than your your uh, winner, it's the biggest one so far. How do you feel about that? Pretty good. Do you think it's going to stay the biggest? No. Well, we'll see. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Keevan, thank you very much. Now, if you've been at the fair for a while, you may have noticed outside the uh, Palmer Rotary was selling tickets to split the pot on guessing the, uh, the closest guess to large cabbage. This year, they have half the pot will be $780 to some lucky guesser. And we'll announce that person um, uh, right after this event. All right, Brian Shunskis. Hi, Brian. How's it going? Yeah. All right, Brian. So you come from um, well, Salchik, which is just out of Fairbanks, and you had quite a drive to get out here. How does that big, long drive? Well, first of all, how long is that drive? Um, we left about 9.30 this morning. So I, I pulled it out of the ground about 7.30. I started working on it. Okay. So... I mean, that must take a toll on the weight of, of the cabbage. Uh, what do you think, how do you think that affects the cabbage? Uh, I'm, I'm going to lose some, a little weight, but I, I cover it with this green, and I do everything I can. So, there's, you know, it's, it is what it is. So. Right, right. Okay, so um, we'll see what the weight is. All right, so um, while they're finishing that up, I thought he was the weight guy. Um, so transporting it then what do you do so it doesn't lose too much of that water weight I, I just wrap it completely in the visqueen and um, so it stays high humidity in there so it's not exposed to the dry air and I keep the heat off in the van okay so it's inside in the van and it doesn't keep that wind blowing it up which has been you know in past years it's been cold but today it was hot so it was cooking it when I took the plastic off you could it was like it was like 75 degrees <laughs> Oh, yeah, I bet. It was cooking in there. It was going to be boiled cabbage by the time you get down here. And no air conditioning in your car, right? No air conditioning in my van, no. Yeah, that's right. We live in Alaska. Why, why would we have air conditioning? Even though we had record-breaking heat. Now, was it as hot up there as it was down here? No, for us, we had a, a, about an average temp temperature summer, but we had a lot of rain. I had 14 inches of rain this summer at my house. Wow, and what can you do to combat all that extra rain? Build a roof over it. <laughs> All right. And let's see what we've got. We have 66.05. All right, Brian. Well, thank you very much. And it looks like we are nearing our final cabbage.
And I believe this must belong to Steve Hubachek. Steve Hubachek won a world record here a few years ago uh, before he was beat by Scott Robb. Steve and Scott have been friendly competitors neck and neck for years. And it's always fun to watch the friendly rivalry between the two. All right, it is a big cabbage there, and, and our uh, cabbage wrestlers are, are struggling getting it on the cabbage, getting it centered, and getting it uh, uh, so it doesn't fall down. Notice they have the clamps on the cabbage, which they had also uh, thrown on the, uh, on the scale when they zeroed things out. Uh, in the past, they've had you know, some issues of the uh, uh, tarp falling off onto the ground, so that way it'll keep all the, the tarp up and we can get an honest measurement. And I'd like to give a really big thank you to Gidget, who just keeps coming back year. to the Alaska State Fair. Oh, yeah, it was a rough to be year. Our uh, official too much player. rain. Too much, way too much rain. Looks like the biggest one, though, at the very least for this contest. Yeah, after six times, this will be my seventh win. You're counting your cabbages before they're hatched, aren't you? Uh, no. Look at it. All right, so she's it is pretty dramatic. And you got to get up there. We'll find out what the number is. Good luck. Thank you. That is a that is a hopeful fist pump there. Steve's weight is and Steve's weight is eighty three point four pounds. And this year's winner of the 21st Giant Cabbage Way Off here at the Alaska State Fair. All right, congratulations to Steve. We will be announcing or bringing up our top three winners here shortly, as well as our top three uh, junior winners, as soon as our judges have that all compiled for me. And then we will have... Um, See who our winner is in the Palmer Rotary. Come on up, the Palmer Rotary contest. As we get people gathered. Come on up here, let's do this real quick. All right, please, in, um, from the Palmer Rotary, you are? I'm Brenda Sheldon, the president of Palmer Rotary. And so, do we have a winner yet? We do. Our closest guest was Beth Clapper. She guessed 83.5. And the official amount of money she just won? She just won $780. All right, Beth, if you're here, you can come see her in a few minutes. And um, can I ask you one question? What happens to the other $780? Because this is a split the pot. It is. The other half is going to go to local scholarships for our high school seniors here in the Valley. All right, thank you very much. That's uh, Palmer Rotary doing some good here for both Beth and some local high school seniors. 765 is the total weight for all cabbages. And the total weight of all cabbages combined is 765 pounds of cabbage. Third place, Jenna Abbott. Okay, and, th and this is the uh, juniors. juniors. And for the juniors, when I call your name, come on up and get your ribbon. Third place is Jenna Abbott. Come on up, Jenna. There she is. All right, congratulations. And stick around, we'll want to get some photos. Second place in the junior division is... Nick and Stuart McQuinlan, come on up. And if you would like to grow cabbage of yourself and have a slug problem, they will flick the slugs off for a dollar each. I know our cabbage fairies use them all the time. All right, gentlemen.
Congratulations. Very good. Congratulations. And I didn't get to shake your hand, but congratulations. Hang on tight. Let's see where our winner is. And Daisy Christensen and her 59.4 cabbage. Come on up, Daisy. Daisy and her brother who helped water. All right. Congratulations, Daisy. Yeah, give a, let's give a big wave. All right, Daisy, put her there. Good job. And put her there. Good job. And Daisy, we hope to see you come back with another winning cabbage next year. All right. Now we'll announce our top three winners. Number three. Keevan Dinkle. Keevan Dinkle, come on up. I have a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more of Keevan in the years to come. Congratulations, Keevan. All right. Congratulations to you again. All right. And number two? Brian Shunsky. And Brian Shunsky's. Come on up. Second place. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, Brian. Thank you. If you'll hang up for a photo op real quick. And, of course, we have Steve Hubachik in first place. Come on up. Congratulations. Steve, congratulations to you again. All right. And if I can get the three to come up here real quick, I'm sure a couple of photos would like to be had. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again for coming to the 21st annual Alaska State Fair Giant Cabbage Contest. And our cabbages will be on display very shortly here on the boxes. They'll be in the ring for a short while, and then eventually they'll be moved out so that everybody can view them. So you'll have a chance to come and get a photo by them. Thank you, everybody, and have a great evening at the Alaska State Fair.